Oh, what? What? What the fuck is that? Hey, buds, it's Cheshire Wolf, and I am coming at you hot and heavy with some spooky. Oh, fuck it. I'm playing Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion, the DLC Karamari Hospital. This is a DLC. For Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. I don't know what else there is to say about it. I just bought this like two minutes ago. Water fountain saved the day. Saved the game. Maybe the day too. Let's get into it. Let's get into it, buddies. Okay, every day is Wednesday. Hmm. Very cool. Room 995. Okay. Let's go down. Oh. oh my god, I hope it's not like super loud for you, because my god, is it loud for me. I don't remember this happening in room 995. Oh, look at the room numbers. Okay. Should I leave now? I'm leaving. So I guess this is kind of like an alternate version of events, because this isn't what happened last time. Also, I see there's no room number. Okay, well, this is this is spooky. It's been weeks since I've played this game. Uh, I think this is going to come out not too long after the actual spooky game, but I played that like a while ago. So, good to get back into it, because uh, boy, howdy, do I love this game. It's so cool. It's so cool. I like games that do a lot with a little, you know? Okay, lots of spooky rooms, but there's no, no tally mark for the rooms, so... Do have my axe though. Oh, hi, Spooky. I don't know how you got all the way down here. Yeah. I didn't even remember there were rooms down here. Okay. Well, good luck. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. So this is like some part of the mansion that isn't even like supposed to exist. Even Spooky doesn't know about it. Which doesn't bode well for me. Now, from what I've seen, this. Importing 3D models. This might take a while. Okay, well, it didn't. It didn't take a while. Hi, I'm in a hospital waiting room. Remember, wash your hands, dispose of materials, clean your workspace, pay attention to the... The what? To the client? Work hard and have a great day. Work hard and have a great day. Um, push. Can I push it? Can I go in here? I can go in here. Can I go in there? No, I can't. Okay, now I know... Oh, God. Oh, God. I know that Kira... Kira tends to make bathrooms creepy. Tends to put stuff in bathrooms, too. From what I've seen of this game, it looked significantly creepier than Spooky's, which is saying a lot, because Spooky's is actually really creepy by default. Uh, but it looked very similar to what I saw in Lost in Vivo, which makes me very excited for it because I love Lost in Vivo. It's so good. It's so good. So this is a totally different atmosphere from Spooky's, the main game, because it's like, that was like a mad rush between, you know, would never forget, so neither should you. Okay, be Agatoth. Um, but you were kind of rushing through everything. That's kind of how the game played. But this is more like the whenever it was like 5, 10, 6, 10, the 10 rooms. Joint pain? Be afraid. It could be cancer. Uh, is? It causes cancer. Being afraid. That is. So be afraid because it causes cancer. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Oh, there's a note here. Dr. Hamada, oncologist. The patient has displayed increased depression after being informed of their terminal disease. <laughs> Imagine that. I prescribed an antidepressant to regulate this, but was later told that I had canceled the prescription. I have no memory of canceling the meds, nor can I find any evidence that my orders were tampered with. So something fucky was going down at this hospital. Oh, I must have gotten turned around. I don't remember this. I don't remember seeing stairs. Oh. Oh, I don't like that. That's not a good... 
Oh, I don't like this. Oh, please no. Oh my god, what are you? Something I can't pass through, evidently. Okay, well this ramped up the scares real quick. Okay. Maintenance room locked. Break room, I can go in the break room. Gotta search, look around, make sure there's nothing in here. Office key, that's good for me. Love me an office key. Nurse Tanaka, report 404. Seems we are losing patients due to surgical complications much more often than normal. What have these doctors been doing? Half these procedures seem completely unnecessary. I know the doctors and surgeons are above me. I probably know many things I don't, but this is getting strange. Yeah, it is a little strange, huh? You know, I don't mind hospitals. I actually find hospitals kind of comforting. But that doesn't make them any less creepier when they're presented like this. So now that I have the office key, I guess I'll go upstairs and... God, the sounds. Kira, you do so good with that sound. Your pain is just a product of your broken mind. I mean, as opposed to your broken body. <laughs> it's electronically sealed. I probably need a key card. I think those are just going to be patient rooms again. So I should look for an office, which might be over here. It might be here. Unlocked. Yeah, baby. Okay. There's so many doors. At least a lot of them are broken. Because a broken door is no different from a wall. Lots of pictures of alcohol up in the wall. I don't know. Dr. Hamada, on oncologist. It seems that the other me has been giving him large doses of hallucinogenics. They've worsened the depression and is now constantly screaming and expressing terror at seemingly random intervals. I tried using a dialysis machine to remove some of the drugs, but it seems futile. Who is the other you, dude? Who's the other you? Is there just a doppelganger doctor? A doc doctor ganger running around here? What the hell? Uh, an appreciation for outstanding service karma. A hospital board of directors. Very cool, very cool, very cool, very cool. Oh, that's horrible. That's a weird little horrible ghost. I hate that. Okay. Carrying on. Another thing. Dr. Chochigi, hepatologist. I was just informed that the procedure to extract the patient's liver became fatal. I don't know why. Why did we take his liver? There are no donation requests and he was showing sign of improvement. The surgical staff told me I personally demanded the liver be removed for an emergency transplant, as the worst thing is I found it. I found his liver, his entire liver, just sitting on my desk. Okay, that's creepy. That's, that's like a little getting your skin creepy. Ah, there's a key, maintenance key. So that is interesting because it seems like people in this, people in this hospital, <laughs> or doctors in this hospital were finding that they were doing medical stuff without any knowledge of why they were doing it, which is very creepy because it implies they're being manipulated by some unseen entity or force. Nurse Tanaka, report 405. I blacked out today while driving to work. One minute I was driving down the road, and then in an instant I was standing outside my car, staring down at a dead cat. I must have hit it with my car and felt sorry. The image of the dead cat has constantly unnerved me today. How did I manage to make it, to hit it in such a way to make the body completely twisted around like that? I mean, one, you probably didn't hit it. You probably, like, killed it because you're blacking out and doing horrible things. But two, actually, car accidents can, like really mess you up in ways you wouldn't expect. I noticed deformity wing there. Exit. Yeah, of course the exit's locked. Let's try to go through here. Electronically sealed into the deformity wing. We go. No, it's fake. Yeah, that's just painted on there. That's so weird. This is so weird. This is so cool. It's so cool. It's been a little while since I've played like a really good, like honest to god horror game, you know? Okay, yeah, that was the- Oh. Oh god. Uh, the pause screen scared me. Jesus. Okay. So I got the maintenance key. All right here. Maintenance room. Let's go in. Loud. Okay. Did I just turn that off? And it won't turn back on. Great. Great. Now it's super dark. 
Oh, I bet the doors that are electronically sealed will now be unsealed. But of course, everything is super dark. Don't. Oh, no. Oh, no. What are you? Why are your hands like that? Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm laughing because I'm scared. And, oh, my God. Because this is doing a really good job of scaring me. What the hell? Oh, God. He's moving. Oh, God. Is that, like, a dangerous thing? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. It's slow, but it's dangerous. Holy fucking shit, this game ramped up the scares. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, dude. Where's the dude? Where's the dude? Okay, that's empty. I can sit down in the chair? Why can I sit down in the chair? Why would I sit down in the chair? Does something happen if I stay in the chair? What? There's like dust or snow rising up from the ground. Why? Guys, this is <laughs> oh man, this is definitely scarier than Spooky's jump scare than, than the base game. It's so it's it's scary. It's scary. It's scary. It's really scary. It definitely reminds me of Lost in Vivo. I don't know what's going on here. Ooh. Now there's a red path to the door. Ooh, I saw that. I I see that face. I see that. Yeah, I absolutely see that. That's creepy. Yeah, that's real creepy. That's real creepy. Yeah, no, that's that super that's super creepy. And it's getting dark now. Am I gonna die? I'm guessing I'll die, right? Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Is that me? Is that my spirit? Did I not die? That just left that there? What? I thought for sure I'd die. Apparently not. Okay, well that's bizarre. Oh god, the dude's still there. Okay, let me let me leave. And I can go through here. Yeah? Why are you making noises, bud? There's gotta be- okay. The dude with the weird hands had- Oh, that's why. Okay, it's the television. He was blocking a doorway. Yeah, come here, buddy. Come here. And get juked. Yes. Different stairway. Okay. Different stairway, different basement. I'm on the other side of that weird growth. Morgue. I don't want to go in the morgue. I got a metal emblem. And all the bodies are gone. That makes me feel... I, I, I felt better when there were bodies here. Actually. Oh, okay, yeah, that's... That's... That's uncomfortable. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god. Oh god. Okay, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. I don't even know if I need to, but I think I need to. I assume I need to. Jesus Christ. Oh god, dead end, dead end. Oh god, the bodies are all floating and I can barely see. Oh god. Oh god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh god, get me out of here, get me out of here. Oh god, I don't know. Oh god. Get juked, get juked. Oh god, oh Jesus. Oh my god, my hands are sweating. Oh no, oh dead end. Oh my god. No, it just loops, it loops. Oh my god. Jesus fucking Christ.
Ah, God. It's all a dead end. It just... Oh, okay, I got out. <laughs> My God, that's insane. Tell me I don't have to go through that again. Oh, great, I got acid. Okay, well, the bodies aren't disappearing. Jeepers. Could you not? Isolation room. I don't like that. Oh, there's four doors for the morgue, of course. Okay, I got acid. What can I do with that? Oh my god, spooky! This place is much bigger than I thought it would be. I can't move. It's very interesting. It sure is. Well, keep going, recruit, and I'm sure you'll make it out. Maybe. Thanks, thanks, Spooky. That really, really helpful. Really, really helpful. Now, drinking fountain. Oh, uh, when it said fountain saves, I didn't realize it meant drinking fountain. For some reason, I was picturing like a fountain fountain. Okay, so I got acid and a metal emblem. Could I use the acid to dissolve the growth down here? Maybe? I sure can. I sure can. I sure can. I sure can. Doesn't help me though. Because I don't want to go back in the morgue. What do we do now though? Okay, so I guess I'm just going to like keep looking around. See if I run into anything. Um, oh! Okay, I... Literally just stumbled across that. That was a uh, complete coincidence. Okay, so I guess that's where that goes. Can I go in here? Oh, I gotta use it. Okay. Ooh, yeah. No, 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 no. That's not gonna be good. Guys, I don't know why I put myself through this shit. Why is there just intestines on the stairs? God, that's such a creepy sound. That's such a horrible sound. Oh man, I hate that sound. <laughs> this is really fun, but my god, is it scary. Yeah, cut, cut that right out. Okay, I'm in a horrible green place with horrible green gas, yeah. Okay. I don't know where I'm going. Sunshine Academy, okay. Here at Sunshine Academy, love is in the air. You have transferred from your high school in the States and cannot wait to take your new classes here at school. Who knows? Maybe your true dreams will come to fruition within these red halls. Your mother has packed you a lunch. Okay. Very cool. So there's like a little high school visual novel contained within this game. Oh god, hello there. You must be the new transfer student from America. How do you like it here so far? I miss my home. Well, don't worry. It's sure to get better. By the way, my name is Umi Ito. School bell. Oh, that's the bell. I gotta go. Talk to you later. Oh, hi. You started liking this school yet? This place is starting to grow on me. Like a fungus. Like a mold. Glad to hear it. To tell the truth, I had doubts when, you first, when I first came here, too. My dad lost his job and we had to move here and stay with my grandparents. Uh, at least you see your grandparents a lot. It wasn't all bad. And after a while, I learned how to enjoy myself here. Well, see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Day two. How long is this little minigame? Why is this here? So how was your second day? 
Have things gotten better yet? Everything is disgusting here. I think it's gonna be fun. Well, okay. Anyway, today is a new day and full of experiences. The flies are... Ooh, yeah, it's... It's getting... Creepy. Yeah. It's getting creepy. This reminds me of Doki Doki Literature Club. Well, class was at least interesting today. I had no idea how many perfect spirals exist in nature. Is that a Junji Ito reference? I feel like that's a Junji Ito reference. You're perfect. Uh, her perfect what? Um. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm, I thought it was boring. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm not feeling so well. Oh, hey, do you live down this road too? I do indeed. Well, I live right down there at the second house on the left. It's an old house, but it's the place I call home. My home is inside you. What? It's like my whole body is trying to peel apart on the inside. I don't want to do any of those. This is remarkably unsettling for a stupid little visual novel inside a game. Yeah, I figure this is going to happen. Are you feeling all right? It's so slippery, drippy, splashy. Uh, I like how your skin pulls across your skull. Flirt. Uh, what if... Pan, pan, pan. Okay, this is actually really unsettling. What if this isn't a dream? A fog, a lost memory of another. Uh, okay. What's wrong? All your water is leaking. And the day is going weird. Okay, this is really cool, actually. What is wrong? Why? Do you really think this is real? Choke, 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 choke. I can't progress. Oh, God. You are marked. This is just a dream. You are in hell, murderer. Jesus Christ. They weren't kidding. That mansion sure can spooky. Do you really think this is real? That place isn't for you. Why? Is this what you wanted? You wanted me to talk, didn't you? Do you really think this is real? Are you happy now? Is this what you wanted? Murderer. Are you happy now? Oh, her face is disappearing. Why? Murderer. It's just a dream. I'm yours now. I'm yours now. I'm yours now. Are you happy now? Your blood is soaking through your eyes. Your blood is soaking through your eyes. I want to say this is looping. Can I escape? Okay, I can escape out of that. Well, that was a highly, highly unsettling experience that I thought was really cool, but also made me feel really weird. This time, let's go right. I don't think this DLC is super long. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, get, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Jesus Christ. That is not okay. That is not okay. Okay, so there's some sort of horrible mutant baby. Oh. Okay, someone hung themselves here. There's a horrible ghost. What was that? Key. Okay, isolation key picked up. Oh, what? 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 What's... Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! What is... What? 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 Oh god! What is chasing me? Oh. Oh, I don't like it. Broken! Oh god. Oh god. Dark worm screaming inside my brain, begging me to eat again. Hearts and blood and bile and soil, I must consume to end turmoil. Oh, God. Let's try that again. I was not prepared. I did not know that I would have to just sprint as soon as I 
caught in there. God. <laughs> what was with the baby? What was with the weird baby? Oh, I don't like that. Okay, so I'm guessing I need to sprint for the stairs. So if I just take the same path out that I take in, I should be good. There's the baby. Avoid the baby. So one door. Two doors. Three doors. Pick that up. Run for it. One door. Two doors. Oh god, it hit me. No, it's through here. Oh god, god damn it, god damn it. Fucking hell. God damn it. Ah! We're gonna go down. We're gonna get to that room. And we're gonna make a practice run. Then we'll pick up the key. I know there's the baby. I'm not worried about the baby. I can avoid the baby. Baby's really creepy though. Reminds me of the demo Krispies from uh, Lost in Vivo. So I'm, I'm seeing similar inspirations. This whole DLC is like really Lost in Vivo. If you haven't seen Lost in Vivo, I'm sure I, I linked down in the description uh, for my playlist of that. It's a really good game. You should check it out if you haven't already. Yeah, okay, so the moment I make it through the little corridor, I go to the left corridor. Okay, so I think I'll, I'm just gonna go for it. I just remember. As soon as I go through the little... Run, run! It, it, like, stops me from running sometimes. Okay. Go through the little corridor. Oh, God. Go through here. Stairs! Oh, God. Oh, my God. It nearly got me. That bitch is crazy. Okay. <laughs> my freaking heart. This is such a good game, y'all. This is such a good game. Jesus Christ. Ah! Okay. We got the isolation key. Isolation room was in the basement, I want to say. It was past the morgue. So let's go in the basement past the morgue. Isolation room. Wait a minute, I'm gonna go save. I'm gonna go save. Okay. Okay, so there's lots of little doors. Let me explore of the door ofs. Nurse Tanaka, report 407. It wasn't me. I swear it wasn't. It may have been my body and my hands, but I know it wasn't me. So it sounds like these people at this hospital were getting possessed by some strange entity into doing acts of violence on their patients, which is very messed up. It's very messed up. Okay. Another paper. Nurse Tanaka, report 408. Found out how to stop them. You see they're in my head and can, tr can control me for a while, but if I keep using the radiology machine to dose my head with radiation and they go away for a while... I mean, you might as well just kill yourself at that point, because that is going to kill yourself over a very long period of time in a very horrible way. So, like, just do it in a less painful way if you're going to do that. It's better than radiation poisoning, because that will... That's, like, one of the worst, top worst ways to die. Oh, what? What? What the fuck is that? Fuck! I, I just want to get a good look at this thing. Holy shit, that's fucking weird. Okay. Oh my god, get away from me, you absolute freak. Oh god, it's gonna get me again. Is this a maze? This is a maze, isn't it? Oh my god, it's gonna kill me. It's... it's... Your fear allows me to enter your mind. Your obligation allows me to control your hands. Your reason allows me to break your eyes. Your guilt allows me to loosen your neck, etc. Okay, I get it. Oh my god. The good thing, the silver lining in this situation is that whatever that horrible thing is, it takes a little while for it to kill me. It doesn't kill me right away, right? It needs to hit me several times to kill me. So if I have to make my way through a maze with this thing in my ass, at least there is some room for error. Just gonna keep walking. Oh god. Oh god. God damn it. Oh 
God damn it. This thing is just on my ass the entire time, isn't it? God damn it. God damn it. Fucking hell. God. God damn it. Oh, door. Is that the right? Did I get through it? Hey, second try, baby. Second try. I'm so sorry, my little angel. I've tried hating the man that took you from us, but in the end, the only person I can hate is myself. You always like to scare people, especially when they didn't understand something. I was confound confounded no one understood your costume, but I guess people don't read Poe anymore, even with the new Price films. The man clearly overreacted to your fireworks, but we can only blame a PTSD sufferer so much. Wait a minute. Is this talking about spooky? Is this... Is this about Spooky? Because if Spooky was a kid, the costume, I'm guessing, is Lenore from Edgar Allan Poe? Oh, and this is like the Spooky's like parent, right? So Spooky dressed up for Halloween as a kid, lit off fireworks, and someone overreacted and killed her? I think that I'm reading that correctly. Exit key! Hey! Do I have to go back through the maze? I do, don't I? Oh no, okay, thank god I don't. Uh, but that is really interesting. And really sad. I never really considered what Spooky was like before dying, right? I always just assumed that she was a ghost, but ghosts have to be alive at some point. They can't just be a ghost. Oh god, fucking Jesus Christ. I know he's there and I... Deformity. Deformity wing. Door is here. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Okay. I'm assuming all these... No, they're not all broken. Oh, what? Oh my god. Exit? I don't think that's really the exit. Does this just go on... Is this just infinite? Oh god, is this just infinite? I feel like this is just infinite. Yeah, this has to... No. Oh, was I going backwards? Okay, well... Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I have the exit key. I might just be able to get out. No, because that's the exit. Okay, so I can't exit through there. I didn't know I could turn off the radio. Do I have to go through the deformity wing? Kind of feeling like I have to go through the deformity wing. Unless there's like an exit through the offices or something. My other thought is what if I what if I missed something down in the isolation room? So I'm gonna go down there again and hope that I don't have to go through the maze again. Okay, it's broken. I can't go in down there again. Well that sucks. Okay, so I reloaded because I feel like maybe I like broke it somehow. So Bad news is that I need to get through that maze again. Shit. There we go. Okay, that wasn't actually that hard to get through that again. So get the key. Read the note. Was there anything else here? Oh. Is that a little girl there? forgotten so much. I don't know if my face is covering that up. Is that spooky? I... I think that's spooky. 
but like the real spooky the one with like the one who remembers what happened okay maybe that's what I was missing the exit sign is lit up it, it, it's different that is what I needed I needed to talk to her okay hey spooks oh there you are here I, I am. guess there are still some hidden things down here. Oh, yeah. Well, keep going, and we'll see what happens. Yeah. Okay. See you later. She's so cute, but I feel bad for her if that- if I am interpreting her backstory correctly. There's no rooms ticking up, so, uh... I don't know. Is there anything happening here? Hey, there we go. There's the credits. Okay. Karamari Hospital. Okay, okay, okay. Akuma Kira, you are the best. Okay. So I'm just going to keep going through these credits, make sure that there's nothing else that I'm missing here. Okay, I think those are the end of the credits and... Yep, okay, it just loops around to the beginning. But there is a new game plus. What that means, I know not. I don't know if it's enough to contain another video or if it's... Hmm. This DLC was fantastic. Really good. Uh, it's super cheap. It does cost money, but it's only like two bucks, so... If you have played the original, I highly encourage you to play this DLC. I know there's another DLC thing called the Dollhouse, and that's attached to the HD renovation of Spooky. I don't want to do a full playthrough of the HD renovation because it's basically just like an uh, upgraded version of the original, so it would kind of be the same sort of content. But maybe I'll play through that and then play the Dollhouse in addition to this. So we'll see. I might not be done with Spooky forever, but this was really good. I can totally see the same sort of themes and designs in this as in Lost in Vivo. I love it a lot. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please consider dropping a like, commenting, or maybe even subscribing to my channel because it makes me feel really nice. I will see you next time. And until next time, why don't you put on a Halloween costume? I don't care that it's summer. You put on a Halloween costume and you enjoy it. See you then. Cha-ching! <laughs>